hello and welcome everyone to my channel it simplified and the topic for today is uh, how to perform dark data assessment by using veritas data insight now if you have to do anything with data management compliance security in your organization i will say stick with me for the next five to eight minutes as you might find this video useful so the question arises is what is dark data assessment but before i answer that uh, you must have been hearing and reading in the it journals from uh, it pundits that uh, data is the new currency or information is the new oil and the organization which makes better use of that will depict their success uh, now there are different components which are involved when it comes to data management uh, uh, you need to worry about the compliance, you need to have access control, you need to have a proper monitoring tool for the people who are accessing this uh, information in the organization. But before we can do all those things, uh, one of the important component is that we need to know what we have because until and unless we know what we have, uh, we are not gonna apply or will be able to properly implement all these policies in the organization. How I try to explain is that, so say if you have some sort of problem, right, uh, you're suffering from some sort of ailment and you go to the doctor, in the first appointment they're not going to uh, recommend a surgery in case that is what is needed. They will uh, do the diagnostics, they will recommend certain tests and everything and on the basis of that uh, they will recommend what needs to be done. And this is what dark data assessment exactly does. It will give you a holistic view of what you have what you should not have and uh, then you can take a business decision what you need to do with that and obviously Veritas Data Insight can do far more than these things which uh, uh, maybe I will uh, tell you about more in the coming videos but for today's uh, topic sake as we are talking about dark data assessment we are uh, so I'm gonna stick to this topic for the time being so uh, from the from the technical side uh, what you need uh, uh, in order to you want to perform dark data now a couple of things that you need to keep in mind is that uh, dark data assessment is of two kind one is two dimensional or three dimensional or 2d or 3d the major difference between the two is that the amount of data data insight will be scanning under this dda or dark data assessment so when we're talking about two dimensional we are talking about one to two filers that uh, data insight will be scanning and uh, if you're talking about three dimensional we are talking about uh, more data so maybe more than 10 terabyte uh, that uh, data insight will be scanning under this assessment and uh, two dimensional dda can take anything between two to three days and uh, three dimensional can take around about uh, a week time now another difference between the two dimensional three dimensional dark data assessment is that uh, uh, the kind of reports it will generate so obviously both of them will give you an idea about what data you have and uh, how old it is and all those things so 3d go a little bit more so you get to more uh, um, more option when it comes to the reporting capabilities uh, so that will give you a little bit more at a granular level like the access and all those kind of stuff uh, but uh, both 2d and 3d will give you an idea about uh, what you have uh, how old it is and all those kind of stuff so that is the main difference between the 2d or 3d uh, dark data assessment now another thing that you need to keep in mind is that in order to perform this uh, assessment the technician will need a server it can be either a virtual or a physical server it can be a 2012 r2 or later machine which needs to be domain joint and uh, uh, the technician we need to have a read only access to the active directory in case that's what you have and uh, from the compute power wise this machine can be anything between uh, 4 to 8 gig of ram with around about 50 to 60 gig of storage because that's what will be needed in order to uh, generate the reports and and a decent compute power so nothing extraordinary but it has to be uh, domain joined in this case so once the technician gets this information and get this uh, prerequisites uh, he will come to your organization so as you can see that he will deploy veritas data insight so i'm on di 6.0 version and uh, i am on the settings category and if i go into the inventory uh, and go to the directory services 
the first thing he's gonna perform is that he needs to add the domain service so in my case it is active directory so depending on what you have you will select that and you need to add your domain name and your domain controller IP address so whatever the information is there in your organization they will uh, uh, deploy that and uh, they will provide the credential and uh, uh, they will save this so basically domain controller will be added because we need read-only access to the domain controller so this is the first step that the technician will perform now after the domain controller has been added successfully the next step is to add the filers so still under the inventory you will go to the filers and click on the add new filer button and data inside is compatible with all these different kinds. So whether you have NetApp, EMC, uh, Windows, Veritas file systems, uh, server, Hitachi NAS, all those things are compatible with the data inside. And uh, as I said, depending upon if you're using a two dimensional or a three dimensional uh, dark data assessment, it will vary how many servers we are talking about. So just for an example, if I'm using the Windows file server, you need to provide the server name, you need to give the test credentials, and uh, uh, you will save that. And uh, to perform this dark data assessment, we don't even need to uh, deploy the agent uh, for for uh, for generating the reports. That's a good thing. Sometimes people, they don't want uh, anything to be deployed on the production server. So for this assessment, we don't need any agent to be performed. Now, after this is uh, done, uh, they need to keep this uh, for the next two to three days on an average, depending upon how many file servers. If it is more than that, it can be around five to six days and it will scan uh, all the information on the file server. And after that, uh, technician will come and go under the reports category. And then he will generate uh, some of the reports depending upon which word. Uh, option you have chosen in DDA. So one of the reports that they will uh, generate is the data aging report. Then they will also generate uh, inactive data by file group for, and uh, you will also get the consumption by file group. So these are the common one that they will generate, which will give you an idea about how much data you have, what is the age of the data, uh, how much inactivity is there in that file group, and it will also segregate the data by uh, consumption so if there is a there is a mp4 or a vhd uh, file how much it is consuming on that particular file server so these reports will be generated as part of the dark data assessment so after you get these reports you will get an idea about uh, you know what what you have in terms of data in your organization and then you can take the business decision and we have seen that organization when they get this reports they are uh, uh, really, uh, you know, they get an insight into actually what they have, which they had no idea about. So it's uh, sometimes really an eye opener for them uh, when they see these reports that they're saving this information, which doesn't make any business sense, or it's also a risk from the security and the compliance point of view. So this is what dark data assessment is. And uh, as I said, uh, these are the prerequisites or the, or the uh, things that they will be needing from the techni technical side in order to perform that. In the coming videos, I'll give you an idea or insight into some of the uh, other capabilities of uh, data insight in terms of reporting and uh, uh, monitoring tool and what it can do. But I hope you found this video, video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.